Welcome to Paint TV. I'm Doug Imhoff, Imhoff Fine Residential Painting here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. Training is necessary. Job site training is nice, but when you hire a painter and they know what they're doing, or they say they know what they're doing, you find out very quickly on the job site whether they do or not. And that's sometimes dangerous. We built this training wall so that we could have an environment in our shop where we could do these things, where we could train people to do various things. I'm Mark Baumgartner. I'm the production coordinator for Imhoff Fine Residential Painting. One of the things that I do is train people out in the field as well as here in our shop on our training wall. So the idea behind it is really to try to get everybody on the same page so that when I send one painter from one lead to another, it's seamless. For example, we're gonna prep trim today. So I'll bring somebody in that has no experience prepping trim and then we will train them step-by-step step of how to do that. We'll go through several different scenarios because every job's different. And we're able to, here in a controlled environment, teach them those steps and allow them to make their mistakes and have the problems they're gonna have where it's not actually costing us or a customer money. So I prefer a cut pot in almost every circumstance, whether you're using a weenie roller or a brush or a combination of the two. And it just sort of eliminates that thing where the other pot gets all dirty and contaminated. It also allows us to cover it, keep it clean, out of the sun, whatever those things are. And it's easy to carry around. So there's a lot of opportunity to use a cut pot in my opinion. I'm somebody that trains somebody they should not put more paint in the bottom of the bucket that goes halfway up the brush when they set the brush in the paint. That way they're not dipping the brush completely down in the paint, filling up the full crumb and, and just basically ruining the brush. So that's part of my training, but for me it's easier, it's lighter, it's just more compact. I can do more with it, climb ladders, etc. The old school method of cut pots is, this is a one gallon can that had paint product in it. We cut the rim off and I basically create a cut pot. I have to buy these screens separate. I put those in, now I've got my roller in there, now I've got my brush in there, which doesn't exactly fit all that well. I sort of have my own system down, but as you can see, it's touching the side. As I go to try to use these two different tools, I have to A, hold this one outside here and use this, or B, hang that outside and use this. In the end, they both end up completely full of paint and, and messy as hell. When I was in the tools 20 years ago, I had a one gallon bucket and I had put a nail in the ferrule of my brush so it would stay on the bucket and I had a little screen in the bucket and then my my roller was hooked on the bucket and all that stuff was in there and there, it was compact there was not a lot of space in there it was it, the top of the bucket was filled with stuff there was a brush over here there's a roller over here and somewhere in there was my bucket screen and somewhere below that was some amount of paint that I could never see. So the pail that Purdy's made, is it solves all those problems. It's got a handle that you can hold either way. It's got a magnet to hold that, that holds onto the ferrule of your brush. It's got a hook for the tab of your roller. It's got a, uh, a grid built into the side of it. You can easily see inside of it to see how much material you have. It's just, it's a remarkable, simple, efficient, covers all your bases tool. So the Purdy Pail, what I like about what they did is the size is a little larger so that you can actually fit a four inch weenie roller into the, into the bucket. It has a place to hang on the side where you can actually roll it off. It's got kind of its own built-in screen. It has liners, which are awesome. You don't have to clean it. Just take that out, throw it away if you want, clean it if you want, up to you. It's got a magnet on the side for my brush. So I can have my brush in there and my roller in two separate sides of the bucket. It's got a nice comfortable handle so I can be hanging onto it. I can be brushing, cutting in, and then I can take my roller, tip off my brush marks if I don't want them to show, or I can be doing two different surfaces out of the same pot, you know, without switching and cleaning. I'm Doug Imhoff, Imhoff Fine Residential Painting here in Denver, Colorado. Thanks for watching Paint TV.